Welcome, everybody, to Dallas Twi'lek Tactics. That's a Twi'lek on the screen. If you didn't know, I know that is Star Wars, but that has been uh, a little bit of my brand forever. So you know what? You're getting it, and it's cool. She's licking a lightsaber. Like, come on. That is the coolest thing ever. And Darth Talon's awesome. So if you're wondering why Soul Mine's behind me, it's because I like the music. Um, in this video for Eternal Evolution, we're going to go over this week in Eternal Evolution. So I'm basically going to highlight what's going on in the game. Maybe uh, let you guys know uh, what the timers are. Maybe some upcoming stuff that we can look at, which we have a little bit of. So let me move my head. And now we got to go. So this week in EE, where should we start? So let's start with the banners. So current banners, uh, we have Bada for two more days. So if you're seeing this on um, Tuesday morning, which is when I'm going to release it, you have till Thursday morning uh, to pull on Bada, but I wouldn't recommend it. The consensus of the community is while she is uh, good as a healer, she's basically like a Serena, but buggier. She does have good burst healing, but uh, the stuff in her kit that we all thought was going to be really, really good isn't so good. So there's other videos you can see to determine why she isn't that good. Uh, and then obviously we got Skur and Hattie. Now it's kind of funny that they got a Skur and Hattie banner up that some people are pulling on. And we're getting the brand new SSS character on Thursday morning after these banners leave. As you see, Skur and Hattie's also here for two more days. If we go way over here, um, I did a video on this last night. This is Ann Poo, the stupidest name ever. He's Poo, Ann Poo. Um, he's an SSS, also a summoner, who is probably going to be even better than Skur and Hattie since Daniel was uh, blew Skur and Hattie out of the water for SSS summoner. So, uh, But I'm assuming that her with Daniel and Ann Poo are going to be fantastic together, which is just unfortunate because... Uh, I don't have any limited tickets left because I spent them this morning on Bata after I collected my ancient altar rewards. Don't be me. So there's the banners. These two, it's going to say one day left. So if you're seeing this Tuesday, Tuesday, it's going to be like one day in like 12 hours or some weird thing like that. It's Thursday morning is when they switch. Um, and then what else is going on? So there's that. Rise of Heroes is also ending. And there's the true timer, as you can see, is two days and nine hours. So uh, it's nine hours till reset tonight. I'm recording this on a Monday, so two, Tuesday early morning, two days, Thursday early morning. Right? So Rise of Heroes is going. Go get your Colossa, even though all of you probably have your Colossa because they uh, basically spoon-fed him to us with Daniel. And I don't know if he's on scores. He was on another banner, too. So two days and nine hours left in your Rise of Heroes. Hopefully you've gotten all of your limited tickets and all of your gene hybrids out of there as well. Uh, Summit Arena. I got third in group stage two. So once again, I just missed out this time by one. I missed out by one spot to go to the Summit round. Um, if we look at who is in it, it is all my uh, alliance mates except for Clumsy. So I should have beaten this guy right here above my head, Jake Sonyu. And I would be in, I don't know if I would have beat Clumsy, but at least I would have made it. So I, I lost by like one fight against him. And I beat him every day in arena, which is even more uh, salt in the wounds. Yeah, so there's that. Um, yeah, it's pretty much all Rev and, uh, and, and Clumsy. So go, go Revolution. So Summit Arena is ending now. The vast, 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 vast majority of it has been over for a couple days now. Uh, but you can get some free crystals if you go in here and you take predict the winner, right? So look at here. Oh. No predictions because this is the account that I don't play on. So go in there, take the quiz, vote on who you're going to win. It's 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 pretty straightforward. 98% chance of winning over him, so pick him. And Shady is going to win anyway unless he tanks it on purpose. So Summit Arena is over. Uh, Rise of Heroes is going to be over soon. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that when Rise of Heroes ends, that usually indicates that Twilight will be opening next. Now, it might not be in two days. It might not be Thursday morning, but um, it, it does usually share a cadence, an alternating cadence with Rise of Heroes. So if not, 
uh, this week it'll be one week and then we'll get two weeks of Twilight Lands and then we'll get a Rise of Heroes again and hopefully they give us a it'll it'll probably be freaking Mooka you watch although yeah because we got Negrama then Senway then Kalaza uh, maybe give us Falvia or somebody that no one has right hopefully but oh well uh, and other than that that is everything that's going on um, the events are going to be different but depending on when you started your account so galactic treasure is the event that is uh, universal it is open to everyone except if you're in that um, that initial five week rotation because I know on my uh, free to play account uh, my newest free to play account uh, I did not get this and uh, as well I did not get returned to giant tower these are uh, I'd call them universal events because they are open to everybody that is past their starting cadence at the same time uh, quantum mimic machine it is actually open on my free to play account right now but it is not bought it is a Xena because that is who's the banners up so all three of these but I do believe that I do have a military might mili no I don't military expansion is one that is dependent on your start time it's either going to be a military expansion or a recruitment event so yeah so galactic treasure is is got five days left make sure you do your galactic arena fights to, in order to get at least the gene hybrid is the and the limit tickets are the big money items that everybody wants return to giant tower is a bull trap trying to get you to spend your limited tickets and so then you are now forced because of fomo to uh buy more to get and poo yes you're gonna pay for poo go figure and quantum mimic it haunts me it haunts my dreams i've never gotten the sss commander or the uh prototype out of it but hopefully this time my luck will change watch me do something on this account and then it drops this is the account that i basically it's dial r2 it's basically this account is just for uh recording footage just just for youtube purposes the other my two main accounts my free to play and my pay to win account are on my phone I need that cross-platform because I would really like to uh, show people my main account on screen with a camera with my face uh, but that's it that's what's going on so we got rise of heroes you got your galactic treasure your return to giant tower I do believe those will probably stick around for a while five days two days Gla giant tower is gone good get rid of it and quantum minix probably five nope two days god damn it two days I got two days for luck yeah, well, tomorrow, I got Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. That's it. That's it. Um, if you do want uh, more uh, chances to get that stuff, there is this, uh, where is it, this event pack if you want to buy these. But don't do it because uh, unlike uh, Rise of Heroes, the, tre the, the pool, where is it, the pool in here is, uh, it is limited in a way, but not limited in another way. So as you see... You know, there was one of these, and then there's one of these, one of these, but there's 10, 10, 9, 9. There's lots. There's lots, right? 40. 40 of these. So you can just get these, right? Don't spend your money, um, unfortunately. Bada, you can just wait, play the long game, use gene hybrids. Uh, the prototype is useless for end game players. The red runes are kind of nice, but and the soul potions everyone needs, but it is what it is. Uh, I recommend not spending to get more pulls on the quantum mimic machine. Mimic? Mimic? Mimic machine. So that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. It is, uh, well, you're going to be watching this on January 17th. I'm filming this on the 16th if you are curious why our timers are going to be off. And yeah, so save all your limited tickets. Don't pull on Bada. Don't pull on Skur anymore. At least save 60 for Ann Poo, who does look cool. Um... Let's go look at him one more time. There he is right there. Look at him. He is basically Anubis. You know, who are they paying royalties to for this guy? That should be interesting. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's it. As I lose my voice, as it cracks like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like a teenage boy going through puberty. Yay. Me. I wish. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that, guys. That's uh, Eternal Evolution, or this week in Eternal Evolution, January 17th, 2023. Let's watch the Twi'lek lick the saber. Because we all need more saber licking in our lives. <laughs> Later.